In today's show, we'll be discussing Chainlink. That's right, Link Cryptocurrency, and five reasons why it's leading the market today. I mean, we can take a look at the charts for the past week. It's on a nice rise, and Tikatwari predicted this, his number one altcoin pick of 2019, which says a lot about the project. So we're gonna be diving deep on why this project in particular has so much potential in today's show. In today's episode, we'll also be taking a look at these Bitcoin bullish signals on the daily time frame. Alan Masters published this on TradingView, and he predicts could $11,111 be next for the Bitcoin price action. We're gonna be taking a look at what crypto trader Credible Crypto has to share, who predicts there's going to be a mega bounce with the Bitcoin price moving up to 14,000 plus. We'll be taking a look at what crypto trader Josh Rager has to share, all this and more in today's episode. Woohoo! We just crossed a thousand subscribers, so I want to say thank you for supporting the show. If you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest crypto news. And to celebrate the launch of our podcast, our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world, is giving away $25 worth of CMDX tokens absolutely free. For full details, click the link right below this video in the description. All right, welcome back to Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and in today's episode, we're gonna be dissecting Chainlink. Tika Tawari describes this project as the missing link of the blockchain. Here's five reasons why it's leading the market today. Link has now grown more than 49% in a single week, touching $2.88 again. With predictions of easily reaching $3, Link has managed to grow to $3.74 and may repeat this record. Link is also growing against Bitcoin, already breaking its own record to above 34,000 Satoshis. Now for the five reasons why it's leading the market. Number one, the partnership with Swift. Chainlink claims to be working on a common project with Swift, the leading interbank payment system. Link has talked about such a partnership for a long time, but about a week ago, the news was reiterated on social media and added to the official Chainlink site. Let's check out this tweet, which says, Link has now confirmed that they are working with Swift on their API-based payment system. This is is huge. The tweet triggered renewed interest in Link, which extended the rally of the past months. Number two, Binance centric trading. Link was one of the handful of tokens added to Binance without a listing fee, simply based on the project's merits. Chainlink is one of the prominent Oracle projects aiming to supply reliable real world data to smart contracts. But the quality of the project is not everything. Link is one of the few tokens where Binance trading, often fueled by bots or FOMO, can sway the price through concerted efforts. And number three, true believers. With a notable lack of pumps for other altcoins, Link stands out. Every rally boosts the community of true believers. Simply put, traders have faith in Link, and Link attracts buyers expecting to be made rich. And taking a look at this tweet from Chad Base Mike, he wrote, Dear No Linkers, prepare to stay poor. Link will be number one in our lifetimes, hell before even five years is up. Anyways, the most ambitious predictions, see Link climbing to Ethereum-like prices in the triple digits. Link is still a long way to go, but its chart looks much better compared to the stagnant altcoins. That's a fact, and we'll be looking at that chart here in a moment. And number four, big announcement potentially coming. All the Chainlink devs are in Asaka, possibly making a splash in the DevCon 5 conference. This only adds to the hype surrounding Link, boosting the price gains. One of the big milestones expected for the project is a form of staking, adding a new source of gains to the tokenomics of Link. And taking a look at this tweet from the bullish man, wrote Chainlink, staking is coming. The staking feature just added to the Chainlink GitHub is another element appealing to the community of true believers and number five, subject to a lot of pumping. When it comes to Link, its chart unfortunately resembles a coin going through pump and dump activity. The new price climb may just be another anomaly leading to the next stage, a prolonged slide. Link has risen in the past on no logic at all, pointing to concerted trading strategies with active markets against BTC as well as against Tether. Link offers enough opportunity for a relatively liquid 
pump and dump. It's still early to say if Link would join the Vanhalla of large cap coins. The Chainlink project sees heavy shilling on social media. Link is also a part of the coin selection on Binance US, gaining exposure to a fresh inflow of enthusiastic traders. And I want to point that out. That's a pretty big deal because that's the easiest on-ramp for people to buy cryptocurrency is Coinbase because they made it extremely convenient for the average person to do so on their credit card with very low fees. And Link is one of those options, including on Binance US. So being it's easier for the average person to purchase this cryptocurrency, I definitely feel this is very bullish in itself for Link. Now let's check out Link over at CoinMarketCap, currently trading at $2.87, up 13.76% for the day. Against Bitcoin, it's up 14%, and against Ethereum, it's up 12%. The current market cap of the Link cryptocurrency is just over a billion dollars, which is at 122,806 Bitcoin. The volume in the past 24 hours, 268 million. So that's quite a lot of volume. And the circulating supply, 350 million Link. Now taking a look at the seven day chart, you can see just seven days ago, it was $1.91. And it rose, you know, to over $2.90. And it's on a nice rise at this moment. Let's take a look over the past month, get more of a bigger picture perspective on where this was at. And it was about $1.85 a month ago. Let's check out a 90-day trajectory. 90 days ago, it was at $3.19, $3.21 in that ballpark. So it did go down since then three months ago. Let's look at it 12 months ago. 12 months ago, Link was trading at 33 cents. Now this says it all. So one year ago, literally, Link was trading at 33 cents. So it has gone up quite a lot since then. And let's look at some more uh, statistics here. Right now, the market rank out of all cryptocurrencies in the world, it is number 13. And let's see, the all-time high was $4.54. And this was back in June, on June 29th of 2019. And the all-time low, September 23rd, back in 2017, was 12 cents. So what are your thoughts surrounding the Link project? Are you bullish or bearish? Personally, I am very bullish on Chainlink. I'm glad I picked it up when Tika Tawari recommended it during his five coins to five million live cryptocurrency investment event. This is his number one altcoin pick of 2019. So I didn't question it. And now that I did, I know it's like doubled in price from that time just a few weeks ago. If you missed five coins to five million, you can still check out the replay. There's a link below this video in the description. Let me know your thoughts surrounding Link. Are you bullish or bearish? Drop me a comment right down below. All right, now that we talked about Link, now let's talk about some Bitcoin bullish signals on the daily timeframes. Alan Master published this on TradingView and he's predicting $11,111 may be the next Bitcoin price. I also included this resource link below this video in the description. Here's what Alan Masters had to share. Circled in green, we can see the bullish engulfing pattern. We can see a young bullish MACD crossover, the MACD histogram going in favor of the bulls, the RSI hit oversold, and a higher low was yet yesterday compared to September 30th. We're not there yet, there are early bullish signals as they are still developing and the charts are always changing. BTC slash USD is still trading below the EMA 10, the green line on the chart, which gives its bearish potential. Before we can confirm a move much higher, this barrier needs to break. The BTC USD needs to close daily above $8,260 to confirm its bullish potential. 7,700 is our main support and last low. Above this level, we keep the bullish potential scenario. Below 7,700, Bitcoin can easily move lower. So what are your thoughts? Do you think we will move lower or rise high? Let's take a look at what some other crypto analysts and traders had to share. Credible Crypto tweeted, I have had the 7,200 to 7,400 region as my bottom target for some time now, but if it is lost, I think we test the mid 6,000 region and then we get our mega bounce to 14,000 plus and we'll be buying more spot all the way down and likely opening some leverage longs in the mid 6Ks. And he also 
posted this Bitcoin graph along with his prediction. I also included this in the show notes in the description right below this video. Now let's take a look at what crypto analyst Josh Rager had to share. He tweeted, Bitcoin, as you can see from the blue lines in the volume profile, Bitcoin price managed to break and close above the highest volume areas in this range. This will now typically act as support. 8,380s could act as resistance, but price can run up to 8,500s with the break above there. And he also shared this graph as well, as you can see on the screen. Now taking a look at the overall cryptocurrency market, we can see Bitcoin is in the red, down 0.44%, trading at $8,174. Ethereum is up 1.75%, trading at $182. XRP is up 2%, trading at $0.28. Cents. Miss Litecoin up 0.62%, trading at $0.57. Cents. EOS is up 0.56%, trading at $3.17. BNB coin is in the deep forest green, which I love seeing. It's up 8.47%, trading at $17.29. As you can see, most of the altcoins today, most of them look like they're in the green. Bitcoin, took a pullback and the altcoins are continuing to climb, which is very interesting. And taking a look at Link, we can see it's up 12.84% for the day, currently trading at $2.85. The current crypto market cap is 223 billion with 51 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the current Bitcoin dominance is 66.1%. So yeah, Bitcoin has taken a step back and the altcoins are starting. Could this be alt season? amongst us? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. Taking a look at the biggest gainers for the day, Centrality up a whopping 29%, Sia Coin up 21%, Ren up 13.8%, Chainlink up 13.7%, Zilliqua up 13.63%, and Bitcoin Diamond up 12.69%. Now taking a look at the biggest losers of the day, we have Energy down 9.2%, Metaverse ETP down 6.1%, 9%, Electronium down 5.85%, Swipe down 4.5%, Quant down 3.6%, and Bitcoin down 2.71%. And according to the BitMEX margins, the bears are currently dominating with about 37 million in superiority in the past 24 hours with shorts leading the way at 51.45% versus 48.55% longs. Well, that's it for today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me through this crypto matrix. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest crypto news. And before I go, don't forget to claim your $25 worth of CMDX tokens for free to help celebrate the launch of our podcast. CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world, is giving away $25 worth of their cryptocurrency. And all you need to do is click the link right below this video to get the full details, and I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.